Hi Pre-K families. Today we're going to talk about a new letter. Let me write the new letter for you. All right, I'm going to take my marker, start up here at the top, curve around and stop. Curve around and stop. What letter is this? The letter C. Here's uppercase C and here's lowercase C. Look at them both. Do they look kind of the same or do they look really different? Yeah, they look kind of the same, right? Uppercase C is just bigger than lowercase c. Hey, are you ready to go on a C hunt with me? Let's find letter C and some of our friends' names. Do you know whose name this is? Yeah, this is Cassidy. She's a friend in our pandas class. Can you find the C in Cassidy's name? Go ahead, point to the C. Did you find it? Yeah, that's uppercase C. Cassidy has letter C right at the beginning of her name. Are you ready to find another friend C? All right. Here is our next name. Whose name is this? Yes, that's Jacob's name. Can you find the letter C in Jacob's name? There it is. You found it. What letter did we find? C. Good. Jacob has a C right there in the middle of his name. All right. Let's find another friend's name. This is Mercy. She's a friend in the Precious Jewels class. Can you find the C in Mercy's name? Oh, great. You found it. Mercy also has a letter C in her name. And let's look for letter C in one more friend's name. This is Michael. He's a friend in the Rainbow Cat's room. Can you find the C in his name? You found it. Look at that curve. Around and stop. What letter? C. Great. We found letter C in Michael's name. What letter were we hunting for? C. Good, uppercase C and lowercase C. Now let's talk about what sound letter C makes. C makes a sound like K. C says K, like in the word cat. Hey, can you make cat claws like me? Cat and claws. Both of those words start with the K sound that letter C makes. Can I see your cat claws? Go ahead, let's make them and say the sound for letter C at the same time. Ready? Go. K. Ooh, great job. I really heard that K sound made by your letter C. Good. C, uppercase C and lowercase C. All right, we were so good at searching for letter C figuring out what sound letter C makes. Let's make our letter C's in kind of a fun, silly way. All right, if you have something in your house that can kind of bend or twist, maybe art supplies like pipe cleaners, those would be really great for getting the curve in the letter C. What I have here is some Play-Doh. Some of you might have this at home too. So, I'm going to take this big ball of Play-Doh here and I'm just going to roll it between my hands like this so that it gets longer and longer, kind of like a snake. Make it a little longer. All right, roll, roll, roll. Okay, just like that. Let me set that down for a moment. I'm going to take a smaller ball of Play-Doh and do the same thing. Just roll, 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 roll. Get that Play-Doh stretched out. Okay, so let me put that down and hold up my letter 
What letter am I holding up again? C. Good. Uppercase C, lowercase C. What was that sound that C makes? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me go back to my Play-Doh. And what does my Play-Doh look like the uppercase C? No. I have to get that curve into it. So let's pretend the top is the top where I would start writing. And I'm just going to press my Play-Doh into the board here and have it kind of curve around. Oops. Put that back. Press it in so it stays. Okay. Curve around and stop. What letter did I make with the Play-Doh? C. All right. Let me do the same thing with the lowercase c. Okay. Start at the top here and really bend and curve that Play-Doh. What letter did I make? C. Good. And what sound does C make? That's right. K. All right. Great job, friends. Thank you for practicing letter C with me. And if you don't have any kinds of materials that can bend and really make that curve at home, you can always just use markers. Um, and we'll be showing you other ways that you can make letters too. All right. Thank you, friends.